Hi everyone, it's Krista Q. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This next video is going to be obviously another hands video, another, um, I don't know, would you call that like back facing? I don't know. It's not my face, obviously. Um, I wanted to do a couple more of these videos with just my hands and the wax. Um, this one's a melting basket. The last one I filmed was a retail wax haul, but I do want to film my empties forward facing from now on, and I do think that when I get a big, like a big haul, I will probably do those forward facing as well, because one of you guys did comment, which I appreciate by the way, um, on Instagram that you like seeing people's reactions and stuff when they have uh, new scents and they try new things, so I will definitely try to do that for you guys more often. Um, as of right now, the plan is that next time I do an empties video, I am going to do it forward facing. And I just haven't had the time to do that. It's, what is it now? It is after midnight, so it's officially October 3rd, and I haven't filmed my October melting basket yet. Because life just keeps like kicking me down and then kicking me while I'm down. So uh, I'm going to give it the old college try tonight and try to get this finished for you guys. Um, if you hear this like squeaking noise, as I said in my last video, that is my husband's comfy uh, computer chair that I am sitting in. And uh, I'm actually filming like beside my desk, like my desk is over, over here. Um, and this is uh, a little card table that we have. And um, I just had to kind of film where I could find the light and the space because I had to film at night again. So anyway, it's like two minutes in and I need to start showing you wax because there's a massive bunch of it. Uh, this month's theme is obviously Halloween. So I chose things that either had Halloween names, like there's a ton, a ton of super tarts with Halloween names. And there's also things that have pumpkin in them. And other than that, there's just a few things here and there that are kind of like fall bakery. Anyway, I'm gonna jump on in. Um, I have a few little odds and ends from vendors, and then I have larger amounts. Um, this is, I think, the only thing from that Smell Good shop that I pulled. It's called Remember the Cant. It is vanilla, browned butter, and cinnamon sugar. It's just a sample. I haven't melted that before. This is another sample that I got. It's from Ava's Country Cupboard and it is cinnamon glazed baklava. It is a delicious, delicious cinnamon bakery on coal. I cannot wait to melt it and tell you guys what it smells like. I'm kind of like tossing them into the bag as I do this, which is probably not, not the best idea of it. Oh well. What else do we have? Um, here's my rose girls. I have... Banana bread carbs, most of a bag there. Her bags unfortunately get a little rough looking after a while. And then I have a full bag of Dunk My Donut. I am very excited. That's kind of like a cider donut scent to my nose. Um, I will do some retail wax. From Mainstays, I have bourbon pecan pie or pecan, pecan however you say it. Whatever you think the right way to say it is, that's how it should be said. How about that? That'll settle the debate. This chair's so squeaky. Apple cider donut. This is the good cider donut scent. As I have said in several other videos, there are some that are really, really boozy to my nose and I do not care for those. This is salted caramel butterscotch. This is really yummy, but I like to mix it with things because on its own, it's a little uh, overwhelming. Uh, Canada Kim here on YouTube always says it's ooey gooey, and I would definitely agree with that. This next one, hold on. Yeah, I actually had to pop it open and smell it. I couldn't remember. It's called Pumpkins and Plums, and it is much more plum than pumpkin. I like it. My husband was like, no. So I will probably either melt it like in the upstairs or the bathroom or just maybe when he's not home. I don't know. I don't like to melt things he doesn't like. This is apple pumpkin. And this is, I would say, really similar to all of those 
pumpkin apple since you get this time of year. I know Bath and Body has one, Yankee Candle has one. There's like 10 billion versions of it. And I think they're all really similar, honestly. Uh, from my last video I just filmed, this is a new clamshell to me. It is vanilla pumpkin cream, but it is very similar to one or two that I also pulled here, if not the same scent, because as I said, they're all made by that company Rimports that makes the retail wax. And this one is vanilla French toast, and it is a nice kind of spicy uh, fall bakery. Um, speaking of ones that that one is similar to, I think this is honestly the exact same scent. This is from Oak and Rye, which I purchased at Kroger, and it's called Pumpkin Bites. And it's got that sweet, yeah, sweet, not very uh, spicy at all kind of sweet pumpkin. It's similar to uh, Bath and Body Works Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Also from Kroger... I picked up Tuscany Candle a few years ago. I got these spiced pear. I was so in love with them. Oh, they're so good. Uh, that I picked up like probably two sleeves and I've just been working my way through them. Honestly, it says pear, but it smells a lot more like, like an apple cider or something, like a good apple cider. And my cat is over here like scratching the wall. She's like, hey, mom's filming. How can I terrorize her? Anyway. This one's from Hobby Lobby. It's their Darcy and David DD wax melts. It is pumpkin pie, and the notes are pumpkin puree, nutmeg, and baked pie crust. This is one of the only pumpkin pie scents mm, where you can actually smell all of those notes. I really like that one. I'm not usually a pumpkin pie person. And I say that as I pull out the next, the next clamshell, this one was given to me. This is Spiced Pumpkin Pie. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I will probably put it like in the bathroom or upstairs or just somewhere. I don't know. Another pumpkin one. This is Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch, also from Better Homes and Gardens. That one's a nice, um, kind of almost masculine, lightly spicy one. No place like home. Speaking of spice, this is, it says sweet cinnamon and clove. I would argue that it's spicy cinnamon and clove and that's pretty much all it is. I like to blend that one with like heavy, heavy bakery. And my cat is over here, come on. Don't knock over the camera. Yeah, they can hear you. They all, yes, they all think you're very special. Okay. Um, the next one is Pumpkin S'mores Latte. That one was from a few years ago at Walmart. And then they also had, that same year, they had Pumpkin Marshmallow Topping. And if you look, this is actually from, wow, 2018. That was back when I put the years on the wax I got. Honestly, I've just gotten so lazy that I don't really do that anymore. I really should. This one is a value pack of crisp fall leaves. Not my usual scent wheelhouse, but again, you know, if I have like a fall cleaning day or I just need something upstairs or in the bathroom, that one's a good one. And I think I got this giant pack that's like 12 cubes. I think I got that for like 50 cents or even a quarter. So yeah, I, I was like, it's not my favorite, but I'm gonna buy it. I, I'm crazy. This one is Fall into Autumn, and this is another kind of uh, pumpkin apple. This one's also got like almost like a pine tree or a fir note to it. It's a more complex scent, but definitely that kind of traditional autumnal scent. Okay, so back to vendor wax. We have one little K-cup in Pumpkin Snickerdoodle from K Scented Melts. I know she is changing how she pours her wax. I think she does clamshells now. I haven't ordered from her since then, but I probably will. Uh, from Dessa's, I have a couple that I pulled. This is a holdover from last time. This is New Orleans Beignets. I know I drive my husband nuts with the way I say New Orleans, but that's just how my brain says it should be said. I'm not from there or anywhere near there, so I realize I'm probably like committing 
a cardinal sin, so I apologize. Caramel Kitchen, also from Dess's. And I have one of her pretty donuts. You can kind of see that in Haunted Carnival. And it is apple fritters, churros, pretzels, and caramel sauce. I love Dess's stuff. Um, the only thing I think I have from L3 this month is the Burrow, and that is fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. I am very, very sad. Oh, I just had to smell that. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'm very, very sad that I don't have VHS tapes, which is another one from her that I love, and I like to melt that around Halloween because it's that really rich... I don't want to say vanilla bakery. I mean, it is, but it's also got, like, that fresh bread note in it. So, yeah. And my cat is just pacing back and forth waiting for me to be done so I can give her my attention because clearly she is starved for attention. Um, these are from my local vendor. That's why they just have little handwritten labels. Pumpkin pecan waffles, Bath and Body Works type. And that's, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. And then I don't know what this blend is. And I also think it's super cute that she like layered it because she never does that. Um, there's her little All Things That Smell Good is the name of her company. Um, she only operates locally and out of Facebook and she does not ship as far as I know. So unfortunately, unless you're from here, you can't really get this wax. But I got two of these. It's called Hocus Pocus and to me, it smells almost like uh, Calacas or Calacas that you get from Lush that has that um, kind of lime, bright, sour scent to it, like a gummy candy. That's what I get from it, anyway. So there's that. Um, what else? I have several here that are from sugar and spice and they are bagged because they the lids crack sometimes I have caramel kettle corn I have caramel caramel pecan popcorn and I have ghost munch cookie butter crack those are two of our house blends and they are delicious heavy, creamy bakery. Um, I think Ghost Munch has some kind of cider or apple note in it. I don't know. Come on. Get down. Hey, get down. Come on. Okay. We're mostly there. Mostly there, guys. I promise. Um, from VCS, I have an old, old souffle, and it is the Warren's Embeds and the Craft Overpour. Um, this one's, it's funny, it has like a, you know, a Christmas or winter themed um, design to it, but it's definitely fall scents. And then the Warrens and the Craft make me think of Halloween. So, I have two others from her. I have a bag of just the Warrens, which is glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. And that one's really, really yummy. It's also really yummy blended with Cookie Monster. And then I have two pieces left of Ottoman Salem, which is pumpkin donuts dusted with cinnamon and sugar. That's another one that's amazing blended with Cookie Monster. Honestly, I have not found much from her that wouldn't blend fantastically with Cookie Monster. From Simo Wax Melts, we have Bad to the Gnome, and this is a bakery blend. I do not remember the notes. I have only ordered from her one time, and her wax has been kind of hit and miss for me as far as scent, and that throw has been amazing. And then obviously her waxes look, like aesthetically, it's fantastic, but, um, I just haven't really been drawn to order again. This one is Grandma's Bakery. This one has more of like a spice to it. My husband and I are both kind of like, oh, it's so pretty, we don't want to chop it up, but it does smell nice and I need to do that. So I got these back in January, I believe. Yeah, January. And then the last things I have in here are from Glitterati. 
I have, let's see. These bags, unfortunately, are very smudged, but I have Mac Apple Amish Kitchen Apple Butter. And these are all from my uh, customs in early spring of 2020. I have Amish Kitchen Green Apple. And Amish Kitchen is like a, a heavy bakery with a touch of spice. And then the last one I have here for you guys is Nutty Caramel Apple. And that one is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, this one is from The Bathing Garden, and this is Faded Opulence. And it is um, basically like a warm cherry cola scent. I know that sounds really weird, but it's fantastic if you like, if you like cola scents. This one is Banshee Dreams, and it is a coffee scent, I think. It's espresso and something else. I can't remember. I know that my husband smelled it and immediately was like, Hoo! so that one's, that one's not his favorite. And then I have pumpkin butterscotch chip waffles, which is kind of like a pumpkin pecan waffles scent. Yeah, and I just love all the pretty little things she puts in her wax. There's a cute missing, but Okay, so there's, that's all from the bathing garden. And then I have 12, 12, no, 11. Looks like 11 clamshells from uh, Super Tarts. And then I'm done for real. This one's an old, old clam of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which is frosted banana cupcakes, sugar cookies, and a caramel drizzle. This one, I just smell that really good sugar cookie and then I like a nice banana. There's like a maybe a touch of spice but not much. It's one of my favorites. Okay, Haunted Mansion. This one is cinnamon bread pudding, sugar cookie dough, nutmeg, and sweet cream. Honestly, you mostly get the cinnamon and the nutmeg which uh, when it's warming it smells almost like warm spicy coca-cola because of that nutmeg. One of my absolute favorites, you guys have heard me rave about this, is Texas Chainsaw. And that is Caramel Apple, Hot Maple Toddy, and French Baguette. That is so, so good. Great Pumpkin, which is Pecan Bars, Frosted Pumpkin Donuts, and Raw Sugar Crystals. This sounds good. It's not, like, my favorite, but I'm looking forward to melting it. This one, my husband is not sold on. I think it's okay. I definitely, like, I'm glad I only got one of it. It is Pumpkin Magically Delicious, which is pumpkin, sweetened cereal, marshmallows, and sugary milk. Basically, it's like unsweetened, unspiced pumpkin puree and then her Lucky Charms blend. So it's, it's not bad. It's just like, I think I was expecting more from it than I got. Um, this is Killer Clowns. It is, I've got some left from last month. It is Caramel Apple, Spun Sugar, Funnel Cake, Coconut, and Biscuits. It is a, a very peculiar scent. It's really good, but it's one that I have to kind of be in the mood for. And then another yummy apple blend. This is Halloween Town, and that is Caramel Apples, Cinnamon, and Crispy Treats, which is, you know, Rice Crispy Treats. Um, what else we got? We have Monster House, which is apple cinnamon cobbler, sweet potato souffle, butter pecan, and peach. The sweet potato and the peach make this a very interesting scent. I think it's going to be really nice on warm, especially like, you know, fall scent, but it's definitely an interesting one. We have Alien, which is apple cider, vanilla bean, and donuts. This is a really good apple cider or donut scent on warm. It's one I get at least one clam of every year. Okay, two more, two more. Hotel Transylvania, which is kettle corn, gingerbread, and ice cream scoop bread. This is like if gingerbread took a chill pill. It is really mellowed out and nice. And honestly, I look forward to melting this around Christmas, but I want to go ahead and try some this month. 
maybe. I mean, you know, I can't, there's no way, I say this every video, there's no way I will melt through all of this, but I'm going to pull from this this month. And the last one in the whole basket is Day of the Dead, which was new to me this year, and it is Pecan Pie, Creme Brulee, and Waffle Cone. I, oh, I wish I had gotten like a billion of those. I cannot wait to smell it on warm. It is really, really yummy. It's sweet. You get all of those notes. None of them really overpower the others. The pecan pie doesn't overwhelm you with that like rich, caramelly, buttery scent. It's just a really, really nice fall bakery. And that's it, guys. That's everything that I'm going to be pulling from in October. As you guys can see, it's all kind of Halloween and or pumpkin and or fall themed. So I'm really happy with this melting basket. I am exhausted right now after filming it because I've just, the last couple days have been super, super exhausting, but I'm glad to have it filmed. It's over 20 minutes now, so I'm sure you guys are sick of me at this point. Thank you guys again for uh, being patient with me. And thank you guys as always for being here, for leaving comments, liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. And um, just for continuing to watch my videos. I really appreciate all of you guys. And um, yeah, that's everything. So until next time, thank you guys so much for stopping by.